Hello there. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how we can fix materials that are missing uh, a reference to the font atlas texture that is used by the font asset. Now, how could this happen? Well, you could be uh, basically regenerating your font asset uh, because you wanted to change the padding value or the font atlas uh, resolution itself. And in making this change, you're looking at saving over the existing font assets so that you can maintain the reference to it in all your prefabs and all your scenes. So in this process, uh, there could be a glitch when you're saving uh, over the existing font asset where the material reference could be lost. Uh, there's also a bug that I've been trying to fix or track down for quite a while in TextMesh Pro that was actually causing this. I believe I've found a solution for it, but the reason why I added a bunch of uh, functions in TextMesh Pro, more specifically a context menu or a material context menu here with all these extra options is to actually deal with this scenario in the event it occurs. Now, another way this could happen is if you select a material and in your material inspector, you can see the debug panel here and you can see the font atlas. Well, I could actually be clicking on it and select none, at which point I have uh, by accident, not, not in this case, but you could by accident remove this reference. Now, the obvious question is, well, why can't you just click select and pick it again? Well, it's simple. It's because it's not in here. Um, and why is it not there? Well, when you look at your font asset, um, there are two other assets embedded in it. One of them is the font atlas texture and the other one is a material and this material actually references this texture. So because they're embedded assets, we can't drag and drop them and select them in the menu that I showed. Now, the fact that they're embedded also means that we can use them to fix stuff. So let's take a look at how we would do this. So you would select your font asset you would go and double click on the material that's being used by it. And here we can see our font atlas. So I'm going to go choose the context menu here by clicking on the gear and I'm going to copy this atlas. I'm going to go back to the material here that I manually broke and I'm going to click paste. And here I fixed the broken reference. Now there's another way of doing it, uh, which I just added in TextMesh Pro, which is I could have actually, uh, let's break it again. I could have actually gone here, double clicked on the uh, texture atlas itself, and I added a context menu now just for the texture where you can click copy here and then go back to your material and click paste. And it actually puts it back in. So um, the process I just did, you can do that also with multi-selection. So if I select all these materials and break them, and actually before I break them, let me hide this text object here. Let me enter play mode. Now the scene I'm using was actually supplied by a user. Uh, the reason I'm using it is because there's a, a font asset here with multiple material presets. Now these material presets were created by simply selecting, for example, uh, actually let me re-enable the text object and pick it. So when you have your material assigned here, you can bring up this context menu and click duplicate material. And what this does is it will basically make a copy of the current material that's being used. It will automatically assign a reference to the font texture atlas and it will assign this new material to the currently selected object. And this is how these different things were created. And these material presets are uh, extremely lightweight because they're just materials. The, all the font data for the font asset itself, the texture itself, none of that is being duplicated. We're just referencing these other components. So having said that, let me hide uh, this thing here. And so I'm going to use this scene because I have all these different presets. And when I enter play mode, uh, a basically a bunch of objects show up which are part of a prefab and you can see that they all have different materials with different settings. Well now what I'm going to do is group select all of them and go break the material reference and I'm going to go back and enter play mode and as you can see now our text objects are all missing their material reference. Um, and the reason why they're still displaying, it's because TextMesh Pro knows that the material is missing, so it's going to use the default one that is part of the font asset, which is this one here. 
So it substitutes the other one. Now, if I go back and do the same process, which is select my uh, embedded font asset texture atlas, I click my copy atlas, group select all my materials, and then use the paste option. They're all back in, unselect this and click play. And now you can see that they're all fixed again. Now these scenarios are fairly simple to deal with and I'm going to show you one that's a little bit more challenging. So thus far our font atlas texture reference was only lost in our material presets themselves and I showed you how we could easily fix that. But what if it was actually lost in our font assets embedded materials and texture? Well here I can't select them because I've ghosted them but if I double click on the material and go in and wipe it manually now we'd have an issue because our copy paste right here our copy atlas well it's blank so we can't copy blank to try to fix all the other stuff and how are we going to fix the one that's missing it well uh, I added a new feature which I already showed you which was now you will have the ability to double click on this uh, embedded texture atlas and use copy then go back to the uh, font asset double click the material and use paste and that will fix it but prior to adding this option how could you have fixed it well let me show you a, a way to do it so I'm gonna actually delete this or get rid of it I'm gonna show you the materials as you can see the materials are still referencing our font atlas texture because the font atlas texture they're referencing is actually still here. Now the material has lost it, the embedded material has lost it, but these other guys haven't. Now let's see what happens when I regenerate my font asset and save over it, right? So if I go to my window, text mesh bra, bring up the font asset creator, I will select this font, which is this one here. And I'm not going to change any of the settings. I'll just create the new font asset. And my intention is to override the current one. So once it's regenerated, I'm going to save over the existing one. I get a warning. We'll accept it. And now let's see what happens. Well, now if I go back to this material, hey, look, it's fixed the font atlas texture reference. Uh, that's not what I want to click on. I want to go back here. Um, here our font, te uh, font atlas texture is fine, but what about our materials? Well, hey, look, they've all lost their reference. Well, why? Well, it's simple, because before I made this change, they used to all reference the one that was in the material, but I deleted uh, basically this one and replaced it by a new one, uh, and as a result, these guys have all lost it. So again, that's uh, kind of... Uh, inconvenient but fairly easy to fix right because we can simply go here choose our copy atlas select all of our materials and simply go here and say paste and let's hit play to make sure everything's happy and as you can see all of our materials are working fine now if I had not deleted it from our material here uh, it would have actually propagated through all of them and let's actually test that so let's assume I only want to regenerate my font asset so I'm gonna pick the same one and because uh, I want to show the difference I'm gonna actually change the font atlas resolution change the padding value and I'm gonna generate the font asset and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit pause so we don't have to wait you know a long uh, moment which is not that long but I don't want to keep talking while I'm watching this blue line go around so I'll hit pause right now so now that the font asset is generated we're gonna save over the existing one and we're gonna close this window and we're gonna go take a look so now if we look at our actually that's not that interesting to look at if we look at our material itself we expand the panel we can see that now the gradient scale is 10 so what is the gradient scale gradient scale is the padding value of 9 always plus 1 and as you know we just updated the texture the font atlas resolution to 12 1024 by 1024 so this is correct now if we inspect our materials we can see that they're all they've all been updated using the new texture and using the new settings so uh, this basically concludes this video as you can see with the changes i made uh, the overriding existing materials should work better it, they should not be losing the references to their materials anymore but even if they did 
now you can see how you could actually fix that uh, without you know these uh, results being catastrophic or, or being really problematic and since you can group select stuff it's pretty easy the only thing to be mindful in terms of group selection is this only works as long as these materials share the same shader in this case Every single one of them is using the distance fill mobile. So let me change one, the this one, and have it use a different shader just to show you what happens. So if I group select all of them, you see I can't select anything. And that's a quick visual cue to say, hey, one of them or more than one of them is not using the same shader. And when that happens, you simply, you know, mouse through or or arrow key through them to show, hey, it's using mobile, mobile A, look, that one's not using the right one. Uh, so if I had 10 using this one, I could select all these 10, but in this case, I'll just put it back to what it was, which is mobile SDF distance field, group select everybody, and then we'd be back in business. So let me know if you have any questions about what I just showed. Thank you for watching.